It's freaking hot today. But I thought I'd come out here earlier in the morning and suffer in the heat just to make this video for you guys. I hope you enjoy it. When you start cucumbers, should you seed directly in the garden or should you start to seed early indoors and then move out the seedlings to the garden? That's the question I'd like to answer in this video. At the end of this video, I'm also gonna give you a couple other cucumber myths. So stay tuned to the end. If you check a lot of videos and other blog posts, they all tell you one thing about cucumbers. Cucumbers hate to be transplanted. So you don't start them indoors like you do with tomatoes. You plant the seed directly in the garden. I follow that advice for years. I mean, I've been growing cucumbers for over 30 years and I always planted seeds directly in the garden. A few years ago, I wanted to find out how hard is it to really transplant cucumbers? I mean, I transplant hundreds of different kinds of plants. Why are cucumbers so special? It's a simple experiment. Take some cucumber seeds, start them indoors, just the way you would any other vegetable. Grow yourself up a little seedling, transplant it outside and see what happens. Well, I'm gonna show you what happened this year. Now I've been using transplants for a number of years, so I knew it worked. And the three plants over here on my left were transplants. Remember, cucumber is a warm growing crop, so I can't put them out here too early. I have to wait till all danger of frost is gone. A little bit of cold, even a few degrees above freezing will damage these plants. So I wait until the frost is completely gone and we have nice warm weather, then I transplant them out. These are all growing really well. In fact, when I did it, I had four plants. I had a fourth one right here beside me. Three or four days after planting them, someone came and nibbled off the top of this one. It was probably a chipmunk. We have a terrible problem with chipmunks this year. So I lost my seedling, and I didn't know if it would regrow from the roots or how well it would regrow if it does. So I thought, well, I'll get a couple seeds and plant them right beside the little stem that was left. And so here we have direct seeded cucumbers. And these were seeded about a week after these were planted. There's two here. That's the size of one of these plants. This plant is about four feet across, maybe even a little more. Not only that, but my center plant is doing so well, it already has a cucumber that's about this big. So I'll harvest my first cucumber by next week. They have lots of flowers, both male and female flowers. These things barely have leaves. So what's the secret to doing this kind of transplanting? Well, there really isn't any. I follow the normal procedure. I plant the seeds inside. I grow them under lights. I try not to make really big plants. You don't want cucumber plants that are this long. They're just too hard to work with because they're vines and they like to cling to everything. So I like them about six inches tall. I put a stick in the pot and just tie them to the stick and that keeps them from getting into their neighbors. That ensures that I don't damage them while I'm watering or moving pots around. Because if you just let them go, they'll just cling to each other and you'll just have one big mess and you'll damage the plants as you pull them apart. So grow them about this tall, harden them off, same way you would all your other plants. And then when I come out to the garden, I'm just kind of gentle with them. I just take them out of the pot, dig a hole, pop them in, put the soil back, water them in, and you're done. I try not to disturb the roots. But quite honestly, I don't think cucumbers are any harder to transplant than any of the other plants. Why bother doing all that? Why not just seed them directly? Well, you can see the difference. I'm not going to get cucumbers off of these plants for at least another three weeks, maybe four weeks. And here I'm getting fruit right away. I'm in zone five, so we're kind of on the cool side and we try to do everything we can to get an early harvest because our summers are just so short. Now in a warm climate, this probably isn't that important to you because you'll be harvesting cucumbers for a long time anyways. But in colder zones like five and six, you want to get an early start and transplants work beautifully. Now there are two seeds here and I put two in in case one didn't germinate or one got eaten by something. But now that they're both growing and they look like they're going to be okay, we're going to get rid of one of these. I'm gonna have too many cucumbers anyways, and I want this one to have as much space as possible to grow fast. It doesn't need to have a sibling here competing with it. Here's a couple other cucumber myths. A lot of the packages say that you should plant cucumbers on a hill. 
Well, in the olden days, hill meant a community, a group. It didn't mean a mound of soil. The idea of making a mound of soil and planting your seeds on top is a myth. You don't need to do that. Cucumbers like good drainage, and if you're growing in an area that's quite wet, then that mound might help because it will dry the plants a little bit. But in most gardens, we don't have that problem, so there's no point in making a mound. There's also no point in putting a whole bunch of cucumbers in one spot. That works great in a farmer's field where they plant them all together and they let them go out in all directions from that planting hole. But in a garden, it's much easier to separate your plants, give them two or three feet between each plant, and let them grow. That gives you less competition for the plants and an earlier harvest. The other thing I really like to do is I like to grow them up a trellis. Now, I wish I had a higher trellis here. I just haven't got around to doing it. But I get my cucumbers growing up this chicken wire fence, and that works pretty good. It's only one thing you have to watch. When the cucumbers are starting to develop, and they're about this big, they fit through the hole in the chicken wire. So if they're sitting like this in the chicken wire, and then they start getting bigger and fatter, they can't develop properly, and you're going to have to discard that fruit. It's just going to break off in the middle. So check them every once in a while and make sure all the fruit's hanging free of the chicken wire. But other than that, this works really well. The other advice I've read about online is that you should sucker your cucumbers the way you do tomatoes. I'm not going to get into that in detail. You can go to my blog, gardenmess.com, and there will be a post there about suckering cucumbers. But the bottom line is that most home gardeners should not be suckering the cucumbers. It doesn't produce a bigger yield, and you may be removing all the female flowers if you're growing the wrong type of cucumber. So for a home gardener, forget suckering cucumbers. Just let them grow. If you're interested in more garden myths, have a look at my blog called GardenMyths.com. It contains posts with hundreds of different kinds of myths. They will save you time and money in the garden, and most importantly, they make gardening a whole lot easier because you're not doing things that are a waste of time and money. Start growing cucumbers like this and you'll get more cucumbers out of your space. 